here's a use case of Neon Postgres with Terraform. An overview of how this looks is first setting up some Terraform. Second is connecting to Neon Postgres, which is an official sponsor of this channel. Third is running some Go code. When we run that Go code, we're gonna put a row into Neon just to show all the runs of Terraform that we do. So this is the implementation and use case for this. Let's get started off by going into VS Code and setting up some Terraform. To follow along, you can go to the code in the GitHub repo below and check out this main.tf file to start. Here you'll see a basic example. It's just from the Terraform docs of importing random as a library and making a length of four of random pet names. This is just the base out of the docs and the whole point is to show, hey, after you run this Terraform, how can we basically keep a record of that into Neon Postgres, official sponsor of the channel, and have that as a place of truth of, hey, this is where all our Terraform runs happened, were they successful or not? So that's the goal of this. Next, let's set up the connection to Neon Postgres, who is an official sponsor of the channel. Now we can connect to Neon Postgres, official sponsor of the channel. Here you'll see in the terraform.go script a database URL, which is an environmental variable in the .env. You can get that from Neon, and I've already got it. I'm not going to expose my .env. But other than that, of loading that in and setting up the connection, I do some things where I check what type of machine I'm on. So I either use Windows or Linux, and I want to know, hey, where did I run the actual Terraform code? So you'll see here in the insert statement to the database, I insert into Terraform, which is the table name of this. I also give that host name, the script name, and then status. So status is success or failure. So I can look to see, hey, when did I have successful runs? What machine was it on? And all that good stuff. So just a good example of kind of keeping track of everything that you're doing in your development. As you can see, setting this up was a breeze with Neon, and here's a word from the sponsor. Imagine a tale of a developer named Sam. Sam loved Postgres, but hated managing servers. Enter Neon Serverless Postgres, the superhero of databases. Imagine Sam sipping coffee, coding away, and bam! Easy connection to a Postgres database. No server tantrums, just pure coding bliss. And get this, Neon offers easy code snippets per language. It's like having a cheat sheet for every language, but without the guilt. Oh, and databasing by branch? It's like version control for your databases. Sam's productivity soared faster than a cat meme going viral. So, if you want to ship faster and laugh in the face of server woes, Neon Serverless Postgres is your jam. Reliable, scalable, and a developer's best friend. So go over to neon.tech or check out the link in the description below and sign up for your free Postgres database. Now let's get back to the programming. Now that we have the Terraform set up and the connection to Neon, we can go ahead and run the Go script, which is going to put a row into a table in Postgres. And in that row, we're going to put the state and all the details about the Terraform run. Now that we have everything set up, we can run go run terraform.go. Let's run that. Now we can go over to Neon to their tables UI and click on Terraform. Here you'll see the data that I've put into the table in the last row. And you'll see before I had a couple failed on Linux and Windows. But the last row shows, hey, got the Terraform up and running on Windows and I did it this time. So really good example of just keeping everything straight in tables and nice and organized for your development flow.